employers can effectively compete with foreign law firms in today's fast-paced uh, globalized profession of law. It is an absolute privilege to have you here with us today, sir. I request you to kindly deliver the special news.
that since long there was no meeting of the calculation committee at all. I thought that then why this committee? And I have already started working on it because curriculum is first of all is required to be changed with the to cope up with the present legal system and legal profession. Every day there are changes. Every day we are facing the competition. Now there will be competition. So far as uh, uh, foreign firms are concerned, are we ready to our legal profession today? Are we ready to accept the competition, uh, face the competition with legal firms? Our legal institutions are ready to face the competition with legal uh, uh, the universities, foreign universities. That is a question. Why the students are going uh, to the foreign universities? Not that all foreign universities are very good. They only nine months uh, the course is there and they come with some certificate. Then international law and all these things, which can be taught very effectively uh, in our country also. Why can we not compete with those other institutions also? That is why uh, we have to uh, introspect and consider all these things. The legal profession is an honorable one and it has a critical role to play in practicing and promoting the civil and constitutional rights of the people. An independent and fearless part is vitally crucial for sustaining and promoting true and healthy, healthy democracy. After studying in the law institutions, one may join the litigation and may either join the judiciary or even corporate world. Life will be very competitive for a better part and good efficient judicial officers or even as a member of the corporate world, one has to acquire the legal knowledge. Therefore, the law teachers play a very important role in shaping the students and in fact preparing the advocates, judicial officers. Unless the teachers acquire a better legal education, there shall not be any good lawyer and or even judicial officer. Therefore, a competent faculty is the need of the day. What you serve will be received by the students. To get justice smoother to the people, we need to enhance legal literacy and simplify legal rules. There are a number of challenges so far as the legal education is concerned and it is transformation in the contemporary times. What is important is, and I always emphasize, is the quality education and not only having infrastructure and constructing a building. What is important is to have the best quality faculty and individual concentration on each student. In a democratic country like India, to meet the challenges of the legal knowledge, needs of the 21st century, legal education must conform to the ideas of innovation, information sharing, knowledge application, and its management at professional and institutional levels. Legal education is known <coughs> to be inclusive of knowledge, faculties of all multidisciplinary fields of education and its correlation with other subjects to make more relevant to meet the practical and professional needs. The last century was dominated by traditional methods of imparting education where classrooms learning and training was tremendously emphasized upon. With the modulations in the methodologies, with case studies gaining importance, practical skills and learning started becoming the order of the day. With the limited applicability of case methods and studies, legal techniques came into existence to provide and assist people in seeking justice. Public trust and morality need to be fueled 
which still principles the legal education carries the weight on its shoulders of creating responsible citizens in a country which are the major catalysts for delivering democratic ethos through social justice political and economic welfare a balanced approach between legal education and legal profession shall pave the way for the just and economical society the poor and weaker sections should be able to seek justice keeping morals and discipline intact the legal education has a significant role to be played the legal education does not aim to bind itself to the making of legal academicians and legal professionals instead it serves the wider audience by making people aware of the rights and duties thus a strong knowledge base is of utmost utmost importance in understanding the legal world law students constitute the sole source of supply of personnel to the indian bar upon the quality of their education today will raise confidence of the nation's legal profession tomorrow the entire educational machinery exists ultimately to serve them by the quality of their training must the entire system be judged now the days have changed earlier the students to choose to cho join law schools primarily because of failure to get admission to a preferred post graduate discipline or in the recent past and because of so many avenues the things have changed competition have competition in the legal education is also there the scenario has changed it has become competitive and has become most favored course to get admission therefore in view of the change scenario the challenges are more and the law institutions have to provide the quality of education which can only be where faculty professors are qualitative in such a con conclave which is organized today by manu patra and the uh, co partners there shall be healthy discussion there will be exchange of views there shall be exchange of thoughts and exchange of knowledge which is very much necessary for the better legal education dr basin just said that uh, what dr sanga kumar said i have my own views and i will tell something uh, i will tell in the next is lecture sir that is the beauty of conclave you can exchange your views and thoughts you may differ and by sharing your thoughts by sharing your uh, 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 views by sharing your knowledge you will also gain something because what if you tell you express you share your view to 10 persons 10 persons will also share their views and their knowledge is you will be richer by 10 times you might not have imagined that i will be richer by 10 times what my views by exchange of thoughts and by exchange of views there will be healthy discussion also and there will be other uh, views also when in the courtroom uh, when i was conducting the cases i always used to see that there is a healthy discussion in the matter so far as the advocates are concerned in the courtroom you all of you know that there will be views from petitioner and the respondent and your own views but thereafter if you think thrice if you think four times there will be different view or different uh, concept every time and you may change your view also you may accept you have to accept what is good what is provided to you by others uh, but for that you have to keep aside your ego don't be considered that i know everything by exchange of views this ex uh, conclave you will get you will be richer and richer so far as 
the thoughts and knowledge is our concern. Today's lawyers, today's students are tomorrow's lawyers, professors, or even judicial officers. Even by studying law, the people will be able to know the rights and duties and protect the interest of the common man. <coughs> if the citizens get better education, legal education, it will ultimately strengthen the rule of law and bring the discipline. Therefore, qualitative legal education is the need of the day, which I always emphasized as a chairman of the Legal Education Committee of the Bar Council of India. So many, uh, there will be discussion today uh, on different aspects, including and by the participation of the respective stakeholders, more particularly use of technology and uh, use of now there, 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 the, there is a hot discussion with respect to use of AI in the legal field. I have, I have my own views on uh, use of AI and uh, other uh, uh, technology so far as the legal education is concerned uh, which will be uh, I will consider also I am not against AI, use of AI or use of technology. Use of technology is should be restricted to for the search, research and uh, which can save the time but it may also stop your thinking process which will stop your using the brain and the mind. So restrictive use of AI restrictive use of technology is very important and is welcome. I may tell you the example of a use of AI in judgment delivery system. In our system, there are always discretions. Uh, in criminal penology, I may tell you that uh, five years punishment uh, sentence or three years sentence, four years sentence, looking to the facts and circumstances of the case, whether the dead punishment, death punishment that should be commuted to life or not. So many factors will work which so far as the AI is concerned may not be able to use that AI for the purpose of the just to bring the justice. That may be that modern excellence in compensation even there also some discretion is required to be used. So AI and technology is welcome for the purpose of research and other saving the time also. Keeping the efforts in mind, a complaint like today's which certainly boosts the legal education and cater to the today's need to have a qualitative legal education. This subject has always remained in my heart and even as a chairman of the legal education committee. I always emphasized on the quality law teachers and qualitative law education. In the today's law teachers conclave, there shall be discussion on very important subjects and exchange of views by distinguished speakers. And really from the bottom of my heart, thank you and congratulate the Manupatra for having this first regional uh, and conclave starting from GNLU, which I have always considered GNLU as my uh, parent uh, university because I am always associated, I, I have a, uh, associated with GNLU right from very beginning. I wish all the success to the Lord Teachers Complaint. Best of everything to all the faculty members, law teachers and their valuable contribution in the field of legal education. I wish all the success to the conclave. I hope and trust that after completing, after <coughs> the conclave is completed, there will be healthy discussion and when you will go back, you will have some more knowledge, more exchange of views, which will ultimately helpful in the field of education, legal education. God bless you all. Jai Hind, Jai Jai Gadi Gujarat.